one. Punky Brewster. I don't know that one either. No. Oh, see, I don't know the. I remember the show, but not the theme song. Correct me on. Uh, well, I remember the dog Brandon, who, by the way, is like dead as dead can be now. Sorry, it's a sucks. Oh. You know, he's in the eighties. This the dog's dead. Uh, Brandon's dead. Uh. That said, um, it, it, correct me if I'm wrong. Punky Brewster, Punky ran away and showed up at this guy's house. <laughs> Were they related at all? That's a good question. I don't even remember. I just remember the show. To the Google. The <laughs> da -da 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 -da. It was made before your time, da -da -da -da. Yeah, there I was saying, I, I obviously don't remember it, but I don't know it. Uh, okay, here we go. Ah, here the, we go. The, uh, synopsis. Brewster, which is now Penelope, on the screen. Penelope Punky Brewster is a warm, funny, and bright child. Her father walked out on her family, and then her mother, her mother abandoned her at a Chicago shopping center when they were shopping for groceries. Oh what a stupid... Sorry, she is her bad ah! um, uh, show. Leaving Punky along with her dog Brandon. Uh, afterwards, Punky discovers a vacant apartment in a local building. The building is managed by Henry Warnamont, uh, an elderly widowed photographer with a grouchy streak. Punky hits it off with young uh, Sherry Johnson. Oh, who's played by Definitely Sherry Johnson? <laughs> ah! I remember her. She's like, Best I remember yeah. If you are going to act, have your own name. So easy. Um, he lives in Henry, uh, who lives in Henry's building with her grandmother. Betty works as a registered nurse. Henry discovers Punky in the empty apartment across from his. The relationship between the two blossoms, uh, uh, despite the red tape from a social worker, who ultimately rallies to Henry's side. The state forces Punky to stay at an emergency shelter for orphaned and abandoned children until their day in court. The court approves Henry's wish to become the foster father. Henry legally adopts her in the second season. Okay, there we go. The more you know. Um, wow. Which, by the way, okay. that's listed it as a oh. comedy the 80s were i was just about bitch. to say <laughs> wow. yeah, that's a lot more of a comedy <laughs> i oh. feel like I I feel like in the 80s, kids were forced to grow up real fast with Stand By Me and the Goonies and everything else. Kids went through the ringer. Ooh. Yeah, they did. There was a yeah. lot. 